Hi, this is Lucero from We Are Earthformed and I'm coming to you with a video about how to support and encourage healthy hair growth. When you're thinking about improving your skin, um, improving your nail growth or improving your hair growth, you really have to look at it as an entire body system process because our overall health and our looks really starts with what we put into our mouths. I, a lot of these tips I'm sure you've heard before, but they bear repeating to encourage us all to continue the process of living healthy lives. First of all, drink plenty of water. It's kind of a no-brainer. Everybody says drink more water, but there are specific reasons why that is a good idea. Not only does it help your digestion and improve your energy, it helps to improve the look of your skin and it is it improves the delivery system of nutrients to your entire body when the nutrients get to where they need to be that's good for your hair it's good for your skin it's good for your eyes it's good for everything now speaking of nutrients we get to the subject of diet I know everybody has their you know take on diet but this is just my personal experience I'm not a nutritionist but from what I've experienced and what I've read and what I've seen we really do need a complete balance from all the food groups in in our diet I mean that means um, plenty of fruits and vegetables whole grains lean proteins and healthy fats you know, fat sounds like a bad word, but you do need fat for your nerves and for the synthesis of proteins and other nutrients within your body. Um, to be able to assimilate those things, your body needs fat. It's a fact and we just have to deal with it. Um, in addition to a healthy diet, to, uh, to support um, our overall health, it's really a good idea to take a multivitamin because as much as we would like to believe that all our food is um, perfectly healthy from the best sources, sometimes those things can be lacking. And to make sure that our bodies have everything they need, taking a multivitamin is the next, um, the next best thing. You can't rely on that completely to provide everything, but it is a good supplement. That's why they call it a supplement. Um, one thing you could try is a prenatal vitamin. So if you are trying to have a child or have in the past and you've taken prenatal vitamins, you know that they do improve how quickly your hair and nails grow because it's supposed to help you provide the best environment to produce a child. So whether you are um, considering getting pregnant or trying to get pregnant, or you're just a woman before menopause that needs to um, improve their overall health, there we go, prenatal vitamins. Uh, there's also options that are specifically for hair and skin. So if you're, you're more interested in the hair, skin, nails, herbal options, that may not have been have been tested for um, women that are trying to get pregnant. Um, you have options like this uh, supplement from Hair Right. This is a tablet form. Not my favorite because I, for some reason it, it uh, irritates my stomach and I get um, kind of burpy. It's, and then I taste the B vitamins that, that come back up. I didn't really care for that. It, other than that, it actually works. Um, this hair growth vitamin from uh, Research Verified. I really liked this one because not only was it effective, it's in a capsule form. So I didn't have to worry about uh, the yucky, uh, the yucky stomach feeling. And there's also this. This is more, f I get, who's this from? Oh, Oz Naturals. This is formulated more for the skin but the nutrients in there help the skin, hair, and nails to grow. The hyaluronic acid that um, you know, you've heard me talk about that I put on my skin 
to improve its moisture, you could take internally to do the same thing. It improves the retention of moisture throughout your body. Now, if you don't like swallowing pills, there are options for you. Gummies, oops, they're not just for kids. Um, these Martha Stewart gummies I got um, as a freebie in a monthly package subscription something. I can't remember who I got it from, but uh, yeah, I tried them out and they're delicious. They do have a slightly vitamin-y taste, but it's not offensive. I personally don't care for them because I don't like the way they stick to my teeth, but if you don't like to swallow pills, you have an option. So now, in addition to making sure you drink enough water and you're eating the right nutrients, another thing to help get those nutrients throughout your body is to exercise. You may think that, well, how is exercise going to help my hair? When you exercise, you're improving your circulation. With improved circulation, the nutrients are getting through your body faster and more efficiently. You do that, your entire body benefits. So now that we've talked about hydration, diet, exercise, what do we do on the outside to maintain the hair that has grown? Well, we all talk about and think about being clean and being clean is very important, but sometimes you can go overboard. Um, I don't wash my hair every day and it's for a couple of reasons. Um, Sometimes it's just time, but mostly I want to keep my hair from being stressed out and constantly getting it wet. And whether I'm allowing it to dry naturally or drying it with a hair dryer, that constant stress um, leads to breakage and broken strands and frizz leads to frizzies and frizzy hair just doesn't look nice. Um, options that you have are dry shampoos. There's tons of them out on the market. Um, you can get them in a powder or a spray that you can you know, spray on your roots and shush it around. Use the hair dryer just a little bit to kind of melt it because it, it does have a bit of a waxy feel. But it helps to kind of freshen and absorb any sebum or oil that you've got laying on your scalp. Another option is a sudsing no rinse um, shampoo and all you do is spray it on it or you know put it in a foam and put it on your hair and you know, work it around and it doesn't require any water to rinse it out so if you're camping it's a perfect thing to keep you clean and fresh um, and odor free um, away from the shower or on days that you just don't want to um, stress all your hair out with a full-on shampoo in the shower. <laughs> but when you do shampoo, you need to take care of your hair. Um, what I'll do is I'll shampoo, but I don't, I, yeah, I guess I could say I don't shampoo my ends. I focus my attention on my scalp because that's where the, the sebum comes out. That's where a lot of the dust settles and if, if I'm having a particularly bad week and you know I've got some dandruff going on up there that's where it comes out from and that's where I need to get rid of it so I'll shampoo and then just as I'm rinsing work it through the ends of my hair because I don't want to dry the ends of my hair and then once I'm done with that I'll um, put a nice rich conditioner in and then go about the rest of my shower routine. It could be anywhere from two to 10 minutes after that. So leave the, try to leave the conditioner in as long as you possibly can when you are in the shower after you've washed your hair. Once you're done with that um, and you're getting ready to dry your hair, try not to do this number <laughs> with your towel. All that does is tangles your hair, um, rips the strands, and it just makes it all that more difficult to manage your hair. More stress means more breakage. So try to just, you know, squeeze the hair out, wrap your hair in a, in a turban to, 
to help squeeze some of that um, excess moisture out. And before you style, while your hair is still damp, use a leave-in conditioner or a hair oil to restore some of that moisture that may have been stripped from your hair during washing. And Orgamore sent me this Argan Oil Hair Care Treatment System. Um, it has, let me read you these ingredients. Um, or Argan Oil, Prickly Pear, Sesame Oil, Black Seed Oil, Lang Lang, I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be saying that completely wrong. Uh, it says Highland Lavandula Angustifolia, lavender. And Atlas Cedar. Let me tell you, this stuff smells fantastic. From the day that it came in the mail and I popped it open to see how the applicator worked, um, I haven't been able to put it down. Every night before well, if I haven't washed my hair in a couple of days, the night before I wash my hair, I use this as a mask on my hair. Then I'll wash it, go through the whole process like we just talked about, and then right before I style, while my hair is still damp, I'll take a couple pumps of this and work it through the length of my hair. If I have some left on my hands, I'll, I'll put a little bit on my bangs and on the top because I don't want to weigh it down. If you use too much, it will get kind of oily and greasy looking, so you have use it sparingly, but use it every day or every time you wash your hair. That helps to restore the moisture and helps to protect it from heat styling. Using that in conjunction with a heat protection spray that has keratin and other compounds will help your hair to withstand the high heat of the flat iron, the curling iron, and the hair dryer. I know my poor hair dryer is, has seen better days. I use it a lot, but I try, even though I try not to use these, sometimes it's just nice to have your hair nice and smooth or styled in a specific way. Um, so if you're going to use a heat styling tool like this um, flat iron from Style House or this from Vivid and Vogue, definitely use a heat protection treatment. Your hair will thank you for it. If you don't have to style your hair for any reason, do yourself a favor and allow your hair to dry naturally. Um, sometimes that can be difficult or if you have um, <laughs> pain in the butt hair like mine that if I don't at least do the bangs with the hair dryer and a round brush they'll just go every which way and are impossible to deal with the next day um, but if you can definitely allow your hair to dry naturally and do it a favor and put it in a braid or roll it up in a bun. And that's de that should definitely be the case before you go to bed at night. Because the, the friction of your head against the pillow will break, will start to break hair strands. And I learned that keeping it in one style too often is never a good idea either. So if you can do pigtails or a French braid or a long braid or a side braid, or a bun, switch it up as often as you can so that no one part of your hair is in constant contact with the pillow. Uh, for years and years I did an up high bun and the hair down here started to break and there were a lot of split ends so I had to go through with a little pair of scissors and clip all of those out. And it was a, a reminder for me that I needed to change my hairdo periodically to protect my hair. Um, oh, also, cut your hair often. You may think that is counterintuitive to what we are trying to do, but I'm not talking about, you know, four to six inches of, of length. What I'm talking about is trimming. 
um, whether you go to a salon or you do it yourself, trim your hair every six to eight weeks. Every six weeks is usually best, but I tend to forget. Um, since I do my own trimmings here at home, yes, I said I do my own here at home. I might be a little bit crazy, but they turn out okay. And it's all because of the Korea clip. You remember three years ago, my first YouTube video was the Korea clip video. You saw me cut my hair kind of clumsily using the Korea clip. Well, I've gotten a little better, better at it since then. And I've actually been able to repair, I guess that's a fair word, repair some of the haircuts that I've gotten by other people um, in that time uh, using the Korea clip. So wash as infrequently as possible. Use dry shampoo, condition, use a leave-in conditioner or a hair oil like the Orgamore and um, make sure to braid or tie up loosely your hair to protect it and have your hair trimmed at least every six weeks. I guess eight weeks is kind of stretching it, but at least every eight weeks, let's say that. So I really want to thank all the companies that provided me product that have become a part of my uh, regular routine to maintain my health and support my hair growth. And thanks so much to our main sponsor for this video, Orgamore. Uh, this Argan Oil Intensive Hair Care Treatment System um, has become a daily staple in my hair care routine. I encourage you to look them up on Amazon. I'll leave their link down below. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media networks so you don't miss any updates. Until next time, this has been Lucero from We Are Earth Formed. Thanks so much for watching.